second half, they picked it up a little bit, at least energy-wise, it seemed like. Well, you know the big thing is going in and making your adjustments mm -hmm. based off of the things you see with this, this ecosystem we have. We're going in and looking and seeing where our mistakes were the first half, both offensively and defensively, and just trying to correct, you know, plays that we see that were there, mm -hmm. coming out and executing. Mm -hmm. um, mistakes that we made, trying to get those corrected. You know, came out and had some decent drives, but weren't able to finish mm -hmm. on, on any of them offensively in this second half. You know, lights out defense, mm -hmm. minus a few plays tonight. You know, hats off of those guys. They bailed the offense out and us the last two last two weeks of Pocket and this yeah. one. You know, yeah. extremely proud of them. Again, you know, you have to have that bend, don't break mentality. Mm -hmm. Our defense had that tonight. You know, minus a couple plays, but yeah. you know, as they continue to get better, so are we on the other side. You know, again, I think we, we can have a good team if we can continue to progress. You know, mm -hmm. We've got to eliminate a lot of these mistakes, but a win is a win. Mm -hmm. We'll take it, good, <laughs> yeah. bad, and ugly, however, yeah. however it comes, mm -hmm. but a win is a win. Well, now, what was your thinking, you know, in the first drive, in the first quarter, going for it, you know, on your side of the field? What, what, what was the thinking? What was the rationale, considering we don't usually see that in a game like yeah. that? Well, I mean, when, when you have confidence in your coordinator, you have confidence in your defense, mm -hmm. You know, you, you you feel like you can get those those uh short four, fourth down uh, conversions. So that's my mindset, man. In a situation like that, I'm going to look to the coordinator. He's going to give me a nod or or a no early enough in the game that we have an opportunity to pull ourselves out of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, you, you live by that, you die by that. You know, a situation that I felt we we had an opportunity to get it. And uh, you know, it, it's just a matter of when that situation comes, mm -hmm. whether I make that call or not. But at the end of the day, again, proud of these guys, guys' effort. Like I told them, we don't want to be 100% of, of, of the football team we're going to be. We want to get 10% better each of these games we play through 11 weeks, including a bye. And then when we finish out with Swanee, prepare for the playoffs to be 100% of who we are. It seems like Shuck and Matt, uh, Shuck and Nate, it seems like he's still really zeroing in on Nate. Yeah. Um, what's it going to take for him to start loosening up and getting over to you know the other guys, Marquez and um, Rose a little bit more? Confidence in his receiver. Mm -hmm. You know, right now, the, the guys that we had all summer, seven on seven guys, the guys we went to camp mm -hmm. with. You know, right now we're minus Jamil, we're minus yeah. uh, TJ. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we, we have a new kid in, in, in Marquez, and, and Bobby's a first year your guy mm -hmm. on the other side. So until we can get this confidence, you know, part of the conversation at halftime is being motivational, but you know, we gotta take this thing home with us, minus Monday through Fridays, but Saturdays and Sundays, if our timing isn't there yet, mm -hmm. we gotta commit to guys, we're gonna meet up at certain times on the weekend and we're gonna throw balls until we can get this timing mm -hmm. down for my lineman, you know, right uh, 15, I don't know what kid is off, off the top of my head, but he's killing us off the edge tonight. You know, whether he's a good player or not, our technique is bad if yeah. you look at as we look at the film on the sideline, that we got to clean that up. Our technique, if we're not as good as our opponent that we're facing in the trenches, we definitely got to be better than him technique-wise. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's the conversation that I'm having with our, our linemen. We have athletes that are on that on that front five, but our technique has to be sound. Week mm -hmm. in and week out. You know, the, the thing about having a good season a year ago mm -hmm. is that now you have the bulls out on your chest. Week in and week out. Mm -hmm. You know, Gainesville has a good team. You, you can look at what happened with them in the spring in West Orange. You can look at what happened. A week ago against Flagler, mm -hmm. Palm Coast, Gainesville has a good football team, you know, and every week when you play Columbia from here till we till we finish this year, yep. teams are going to come out and, and, and we have that big target on our chest. So we got to be able to come in week in, week out and step up. I'm sure you're happy with Tion though, with Mario yeah. out. It seemed like he stepped up today. Yeah, and you know, that's you look at this, this game and we still have key players that are, I mean, I, I have an all-state running back yeah. that isn't on the field mm -hmm. right now. You know, I have a, a young receiver in sophomore, mm -hmm. Latorrance La Jones, TJ, mm -hmm. that's a very good receiver mm -hmm. um, that's, that's not on the field right now. And Jamil Bullock as well. So when we get those guys back, it's going to help our offense go. You know, right now, I'm still extremely frustrated offensively because we're running wrong routes. Mm -hmm. You know, I got a veteran at quarterback and our concepts aren't being called. Our questions are being asked. Mm -hmm. His plays are getting sent in. That's not where we're supposed to be yeah. right now with a, with a veteran, you know, all-stater. So we just got to continue to chomp at the bit, man, and and um, these guys mm -hmm. got to continue to build this cohesiveness as a unit. You know, you look back at last year's season, the, the year prior to that with a trail and Dallin and Michael, mm -hmm. we weren't as good as we were when they go. those guys were juniors to where they are at, were seniors mm -hmm. last year. Mm -hmm. So we got a bunch of sophomores all over the field, offensively and defensively. Those guys aren't as good as they're going to be, mm -hmm. you know, two years from now. Or even at the end of this year, so we just have to keep keep confidence in them, continue to get them better, and uh, get this team as good as we can.
I'm sorry, Coach, if you've already answered this, but what was the problem offensively with, with, with your team tonight? It seemed like Davin was really struggling a little bit. Hey, that's, that's a very good question. You know, it's one that I'm asking them on the sideline, one that I'm asking myself. You know, it seems like there's a sense of confusion. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have any confusion with the three-year starter and Davin Shuck with anything that we're doing. He knows the offense as good as I do. I can't call a play wrong because he corrects it. He knows how to correct it. You know, but the, the one thing that's there is I have young receivers all over the place. I have linemen that this is their first year as a starter. You know, you're going against a quality opponent. First year guys have to grow up in a hurry. So that, that's a big part of it, man. And you, you can look at all the things we do this summer. You can look at the different team camps that, that we're in. When the bullets are live, it's different. You know, you don't have a chance to relax and coach them behind them and tell them things that are there and see things there. They got to go out and execute it on their own right now. So as we continue to grow, you know, so will so our offense. So what do you do now next week that you've got Camden County coming in? He was actually playing Venice tomorrow night, and they're you know they're finishing up the road trip in Florida. You know, already down in one game. You know, and you're all the you're all are their third game for them. What do you what do you do to get them ready for next week? Well, a, a little bit of a sense of normalcy next week with it not being a Thursday night football game. You know, you take it and, and definitely never to make excuses at Columbia, but you go and play on a Popka team on the road, long trip. You get back in, you know, two three o'clock in the morning. Um, you're right back at it Monday, you know, with a little bit of rest, and then you play on a Thursday night game. Everything's pushed up, pushed forward a day. We get a little bit of normalcy next week, so our, we have an extended film session on Monday as, the, as these kids come in here and we get to watch tape and see these mistakes. We get a normalcy uh, sense of practice on Tuesday and Wednesday. We get our normal walkthrough where it had to be half pad, half off uh, on Wednesday this week. So we get normalcy next week. We get an opportunity to coach our kids up, uh, get into the scheme of what they're doing offensive, defensive, special teams, and, and come back and, and be at home for the first time um, in two weeks this season. So, you know, we're excited about that. We just got to get back to the drum board and get these guys. What good is again. Kamaria's progress? I mean, what, what kind of. I mean, he, he'll, be back, he'll be back Thursday. Thursday um, is his full release. He's able to con go through conditioning um, through Thursday. It, it started, his release came today, but it, it's, it's, it's conditioning and, and no full contact Thursday he's good to go so we'll have him for the Camden game and uh, we're definitely excited about that thanks coach